Hello students, your learning target today is I can write an informational text with a topic and important details. And your success criteria is I am successful when I can write at least five facts about my topic. So yesterday you came up with the perfect topic for your informational text. Remember, an informational text is the same thing as nonfiction. It's got facts and information. It teaches you about the world. And you're gonna write a book that you, or you're going to write a nonfiction text so you can teach your audience, Mrs. Strait and your classmates, all about some a topic you know a lot about. So before we can start writing our facts, we have to know what a fact is. So a fact is a true statement that you can prove. For example, cheetahs are the fastest land animal. That's a fact. I can prove it. The panda is a type of mammal. That is also a fact. Let's look at an opinion so we can contrast what we just saw. An opinion. An opinion is how somebody thinks and feels about something. For example, ice cream is the best food in the world. Now you might think ice cream is the best food in the world, but I know some people that don't like ice cream. So that's not something I can prove. That's just how somebody feels about something. Riding a bicycle is so much fun. Again, that's how somebody feels about it, but that might not be true for everyone. I know some people who don't like to ride bikes. They'd rather rollerblade. So you have to be sure in your informational text, you only include facts and information. So think about my polar bear. I picked the polar bear topic, remember? So I can write things like the polar bear has a layer of blubber to keep them warm. And I can write things like they have big paws to grip the ice and it helps them survive in the Arctic. But I can't write, polar bears are the cutest animal in the Arctic. Because while I might think they're cute, that's not something I've read in a book or I can prove. And other people might not think polar bears are cute. So I have to remember to only include facts and information because my job is to teach you and the, and the other students in our class all about polar bears. Just like your job is to teach Mrs. Strait and all the students in your class about your topic. So remember to include facts. So here are my facts. I want you to watch closely and notice what I did. I want you to notice how I wrote my facts. I also want you to make sure I didn't include any opinions in here. Polar bears live in the Arctic. Polar bears have black skin. Polar bears have transparent hair that looks white. Polar bears are carnivores and eat seals. Polar bears have a thick layer of blubber to stay warm. Polar bears have bumpy paws to help them grip the ice. Hmm, did you notice anything I did? Well, the first thing I noticed is I wrote these all in complete sentences. That's going to help me. Remember, a sentence has a who and a what the who and what, what the who did. Polar bears, what do they do? Live. Polar bears, what do they do? Have black skin. Polar bears, what do they do? Have transparent hair. So I'm teaching you all about polar bears and I wrote complete sentences. That's going to help me when I take my writing to actually put it on the paper to do writing. So today, your job is going to be to take your fact, to take your topic and come up with at least five facts. You have to have at least five. Notice Miss Strait had one, two, three, four, five, six. I threw in an extra fact just because I want my writing to be really great. In fact, I might even add more. So I encourage you to go find facts about your topic. If you don't know them in your head, you can always go to Epic. You can go to the science Bitmoji classrooms that I sent you if you're writing about one of the science topics. And I highly encourage you to do so because there's loads of information and facts. Remember, include full complete sentences about your topic. Have fun writing your at least five facts about your topic. Remember, write them in complete sentences.